Hello and welcome to this Fallout 4 settlement tour video. This is Extreme Wackazoid and today we are looking at Finch Farm. This is a PS4 version and I'm um, using a number of mods which are listed below and hopefully this will give you a few ideas of what you would like to do with the space. Um, the biggest thing to know about Finch Farm is that it is big and it is tall and you can actually build on top of that uh, bridge structure uh, up above and uh, I can only think that uh, Grey Garden is the only other that has that uh, neat feature and so I wanted to obviously build some stuff up on top of that highway and uh, have a good way of getting up and down so I'm going to show you that piece of this first and I've built in Finch Farm a few times and I, I always struggle with the fact that settlers would uh, not use the stairs very well to get up on top of that highway and um, they would not use elevators very well to get on top of that highway and so I wanted to um, kind of give myself some options of how to get up and down because they could get in my way or um, anyway so I also wanted to just build something cool looking uh, with uh, multiple ways to get up on top of that highway and so this is a scaffolding structure and there's actually two different stairways that go uh, up and down adjacent to each other and then kind of form up and around and then on top and then I have uh, an elevator that goes up and then connects to another ele elevator that goes up as well and so I'm going to show you what that looks like um, and I thought it made the most sense to build right next to this concrete pillar I think that would make it uh, more realistic uh, gives um, kind of something to be a little load bearing perhaps but if you're thinking about doing that you just have to be really careful about uh, the clipping with that concrete pillar as well as the clipping of the bridge as well and so if you do build it you want to just keep in mind to make sure that this type of structure will go up as far as you would like and will go over as far as you would like um, so you may need to play around with that if you do it really well and get it all done you can use a group select feature to kind of move it up and around and I think I did end up doing that a little bit these are warehouse floorings and so I'll take you up one of the stairwells it's adjacent to it I have a lot of lighting that goes up this is all scaffolding um, and like you see there is another stairwell that goes kind of next to it similar to like a fire escape and um, and I wanted it to make it really well lit so it looks cool as night at night also and these walkways connect between one elevator and another and so this is the fourth floor of that elevator and it connects to this uh, three floor elevator so it's about seven floors to get up uh, to the top of this bridge and um, you know to use elevators you got to have it wired pretty well and uh, so keep that in mind so I, I think I did the scaffolding kind of first made sure that there would be enough space for elevators and then I built all that and then I was able to wire uh, the elevators. So I didn't actually use the elevator as much in terms of building this structure. Um, and then the other piece here is just to make sure that uh, that this will actually connect and then go on top of this highway. And so again you have to just play around with that with the clipping of this floor uh, to make sure that uh, this will go over it and then that you can make it uh, down also and um, you know all of these have barriers up and down and across so that way um, you or your settlers don't fall off and then when you do build up here on top of this highway structure one of the things you should know before you get going is that all the way across um, this highway there's uh, some gunners that spawn in every now and again and they um, one of them is equipped with a fat man missile launcher so they can one shot you uh, to death and uh, there's also some snipers on top of there of the um, 
whatever the fire people are on top of that fire uh, iron works uh, that can uh, hit you also uh, so there's if you're familiar with this space you'll know that there's some patches in this highway uh, that you have to um, uh, account for and so these are all concrete flooring um, that goes across and so what you have to do is make sure that your concrete flooring will actually you know clip around and through this structure which is already existing and so that's something just to be mindful of one of the first things I do when I build uh, is I determine where I'm going to put my power source I usually put it up high so that it protects it from attackers and then um, and then I put a barrier around it as well so I have a couple of fusion reactors in there I believe and then I wire it uh, from there so up here is my vendor stations I did everybody but the restaurant because your uh, settlers will actually congregate at the restaurant uh, after hours and so I wanted to have that space open down below because again I just can't really convince my settlers to come up here very well um, I heard if you use animated mats, you can kind of position people so that they feel obligated to do a particular activity like push-ups or something. But um, I was never really able to get that work. What I do with these uh, vendor stations is I make it look like they're actually selling something. So I pick up and drop items into these little shelves. And then I... Um, usually have like a shelf with items as well and I use OC decorator for that so what I usually do is I build the shelf out here in some area and then um, I use OC decorator to place the items I use a concrete pillar to lower and raise the uh, shelf so I can place the items onto it so this is the junk vendor station I like using these ceiling fan lights this is a clothing vendor and uh, so again I put clothing there and I use these armor stands and put clothing on the armor stand so it looks like they're actually selling clothes and then with the clinic vendor um, there's a gurney there and a light and a bunch of medical supplies um, and with my clinic vendor I usually like to give them a lab coat so it looks like they're a real doctor and they're all wearing otherwise the same type of outfits. I like to have the same settlement uh, where the settlers are all wearing the same clothes. It looks kind of creepy. So let me take you down this other uh, set of these uh, stairs. And one thing just to kind of look up from underneath. I put these like Christmas lights underneath so it looks cool at night. My settlements, they all grow mute fruit. It's the most um, efficient uh, type of plant to grow. These are all minigun turrets, and I think I use some heavy laser turrets. I use these ball track supports uh, to raise it up so melee attackers can't get to it very well. So I'll take you around the uh, edge of this structure. I like to put lights on these power pylons all around the edge of the build area. Looks cool at night. So I use just a couple of water purifiers. You can fit a bunch in there if you like, but I like to, to be a little realistic. These are the um, barn outhouses for restrooms. I put a light inside there as well. And this is a shower and a sink uh, that's within a um, um, bathroom stall. A couple of water pumps there. So if you're familiar with the space, there is an existing structure right here. And what I like to do is build around an existing structure and make it less obvious where the structure ends and mine begins. And I think I did a pretty good job of that, honestly. So the inside of this structure is just some residences. And then uh, I use a lot of junky uh, just wood and a metal. I don't like the them to look the same or uniform so it looks like the settlers actually did scrap it um, and so I like for the settlers um, let me just take you up here to this restaurant to have a restaurant area because like I say they will take the time off after work and so what I do with my restaurants if I have the space is give it a little bit of a functioning area so it looks like it's a functioning restaurant um, and so I use OC decorator for 
the placement of those items. So this is the, the roof of the uh, original structure and I put a restaurant on top with some bar seating and some um, picnic tables. All of my settlements, I usually have seven or eight settlers. Uh, I think it's the most realistic to just have the efficient number of farmers. I always have four vendors, usually have a provisioner and maybe a guard. And I definitely use a guard station at Finch Farm because I feel like it's just constantly under attack, either by gunners or those, um, I forget the name of those fire people. So hopefully this will give you some ideas of what to do with the space. This is kind of the outside view of this structure. It's a two floor structure. Um, and what you can do with that is build it as best you can to make sure that it'll, uh, you can actually get walls inside to go up against the original structure. And then don't forget that you have a select all trick. So if it's not quite lining up, as well as you'd like you can use a select all trick to kind of uh, fit it around if you didn't get it perfect and I think underneath this flooring um, it looks like the wooden foundation stilts but I think a lot of it is something that looks like the wooden foundation stilts that I just kind of plop in underneath um, it's just easier for me to do it that way So hopefully this will give you a couple ideas. If you like what you saw, uh, you can uh, you know hit like on the video, and you can favorite this channel. And uh, thanks again.